Loss is something that everyone experiences at some point in life. Loss can be death-related, such as the death of a parent, grandparent, friend, or pet, or non-death-related, such as a breakup, the loss of a job, or a friend moving away. Additionally, a sense of loss can be felt after an event, for example, losing a sense of security after a home break-in or losing a sense of personal safety due to a sexual assault. A common response to loss is grief, which is an intense emotional pain that can affect both your mental and physical well-being. When you're dealing with grief, you may feel extreme sadness and be unable to stop thinking about your loss. Physically, you may feel pain in your chest, and you can even become sick because your immune system becomes compromised. Meet Garrett. He and his friends have a big trip planned for spring break. While Garrett used to be excited about the trip, he couldn't care less about it now because his girlfriend of three years just broke up with him. His girlfriend was supposed to go on the trip with him and his friends. Filled with too much sadness over his breakup, Garrett told his friends he wouldn't be joining them. Garrett's friends invited him to dinner the night before the trip to try to convince him to come on the trip and to cheer him up, but he just wanted to be alone. Garrett's roommate, Arlo, sat with Garrett and told him that his girlfriend also recently broke up with him. Arlo said that turning to his friends and giving himself permission to feel sad was helpful to his grieving process. After talking with Arlo, Garrett realized that being alone was only making him feel worse. He decided that he would still go on the trip and try to have fun with his friends. Everyone's grieving process is different. Some people feel numb or in denial for a while, while others feel angry and cry a lot. Some people lean on friends and family, while others self-isolate in order to process things on their own. Respecting everyone's grieving process is important. At the same time, you should try to check up on loved ones regularly if they've lost someone or something important to them. Don't forget to remind them that you care and that you're there for them no matter what. If you are the person who's grieving, know that it's normal to experience a roller coaster of emotions. It's also normal to question God or another higher power that you used to believe in, or to find peace and comfort from your God or higher power. One tip for managing your grief is to remember that loss is a universal human experience and that you are not alone. You also may choose to seek out mental health support. Counselors and grief support groups can guide you through your own unique grieving process and help you to honor your loss in a way that feels healthy and meaningful to you.